When an 11-year-old girl with end-stage kidney disease wasn't able to bear dialysis anymore, doctors decided to try an innovative treatment. She was given 15 grams a day of acacia gum. This substance was able to afford her four years of freedom from dialysis. Hello, Catherine from Double Kini here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kini health. In this video, the top five most powerful ways to lower creatinine levels and to avoid dialysis in stage four and five of kini disease. Today, we will see innovative treatments and we will also see what's already proven to work, starting with acacia gum. Also known as gum arabic, guar gum and acacia fiber, this is the gum that is exuded from the acacia tree. It's soluble dietary fiber, an indigestible substance that acts like a brush in the intestine, removing scores and waste. Acacia gum can be found in many everyday products, ranging from candies to cosmetics. Used as a remedy, it may help with diabetes, high cholesterol, weight loss, and high blood pressure, according to studies. The very interesting part about acacia gum is that it has been used to completely avoid dialysis in an 11-year-old girl with almost no kidney function. According to the study, the girl was able to live four years free from dialysis and also, she continued experiencing improved well-being and good participation in outdoor activities. This is the longest period of dialysis freedom reported in children with stage 5 kidney disease. The girl was also treated with other therapies to support her kidney function, including a special diet called VLPD. More about this in the next part of the video. Now. After this incredible achievement, acacia gum was obviously subjected to more research. Very recently, a study was performed to investigate the nephroprotective efficiency of acacia gum. Researchers wanted to see if acacia gum actually is a viable alternative to dialysis. They concluded saying that oral administration of acacia gum could effectively alleviate adverse effects of CKD stage 4 and 5. And while this study was performed on mice, researchers think that these results could be repeatable on humans. Now, these researchers are asking for more studies on acacia gum. I mean, who wouldn't? This is an incredibly cheap remedy that could save the lives of so many people suffering from kidney disease. But we need way more research before doctors could start prescribing this remedy to their patients. So. This is the time to spread the awareness. Please share this video with anyone you know who suffers from kidney problems or whose relatives suffer from kidney problems. We really need to focus on the awareness about this new kind of treatment. If more people knew about the studies I'm showing you today, things could be very different for patients on dialysis. And while further research is needed to find out whether acacia can help treat kidney disease, Many people are already using acacia gum for its anti-cholesterol and weight loss friendly benefits. While available for purchase online, acacia gum is typically sold in powder form. One of the reasons why acacia gum was so effective in these studies is because it's a source of soluble fiber. And there is a natural remedy which is also a source of soluble fiber, so it has some of the benefits of acacia gum, but it's widely used and 100% safe for people with kidney problems. This is something I can actually recommend you to try. By the way guys, I don't know what the fate of the 11-year-old girl of the study I have mentioned earlier was after the 4 years treatment with acacia gum. I've added info about this study in the description down below if you want to know more. And if you have any updates about her, write in comment section. Back to our top 5. The number 4 is psyllium husk. This is a soluble fiber supplement just like acacia gum. But unlike acacia gum, psyllium husk has been extensively tested. 
The health benefits some people with CKD are extremely clear and we have dosages and guidelines to follow. So even if for most people fiber doesn't come to mind when thinking of improving their kidney health, this is a remedy worth trying. It has many health benefits even for people in stage 4 of CKD and for those on dialysis. Two studies published in the Kidney International Journal show that a higher diet fiber intake is associated with lower risk of inflammation in kidney disease. Inflammation is associated with higher mortality rate. It's a crucial aspect to manage. Another very recent study concluded that dietary fiber can improve gut health of CKD patients, reducing the bacterial generation of uremic toxins and potentially improving CKD progression and even in dialysis patients, improve uremic symptoms. Now, when researchers talk about uremic symptoms, they mean all those things that make the life of someone with kidney disease harder. Itching, constant tiredness, nausea, muscle cramps, inflammation, and so on. Researchers think that adequate fiber intake is going to help the gut getting rid of uremic toxins when the kidneys can't. By reducing the workload on the kidneys, in turn, they can function better and potentially slow down the progression of CKD. Now, as I was saying, we have very clear guidelines on how much psyllium has to take daily. The recommended dosage ranges from 5 to 10 grams, 1 to 2 times a day, usually to be taken before or with meals. The recommendation here is to start increasing your fiber intake gradually to avoid side effects. More important, psyllium could delay the absorption of medications. It's recommended to avoid taking it with other medicines. So talk to your doctor and find a way to take it safely. Now, there are some well-known brands that sell psyllium husk, metamucil, citrusel, fibril, but there are even supplements of psyllium husk you can find on Amazon for a lower price. Now, today's video is not just about natural remedies. There's a therapy I want to talk about today because it may effectively slow down the progression of CKD in stage four. It's our number three. And there's something I want to show you before. A lot of kidney disease patients are using this program to improve their kidney function and lower their creatinine levels. There are some very inspiring success stories here in Double O Kidney. People are reversing their kidney disease thanks to what they're learning from this program. If you want to give a fast boost to your kidney health, you should consider downloading it. I'm leaving a link down in the description. Check it out to know more. Time for our number three. This treatment may delay dialysis by years, but unfortunately, not many people know about it, especially in the US. Number three is the VLPD treatment. Except for dialysis, the VLPD treatment is the only approved treatment in the world to significantly slow down kidney disease in the advanced stages. VLPD actually means very low protein diet. It has some incredible benefits for people in stage four of kidney disease. It can decrease proteinuria, decrease uremic toxins, the cause of most symptoms of kidney disease, but also decrease oxidative stress, metabolic acidosis, insulin resistance, blood pressure, and most important, it can slow down the decline of GFR. This is what a Cochrane review of 17 studies and involving almost 3,000 patients says about the VLPD treatment. Now, we are talking about a lot of studies here on a lot of patients. These results are pretty solid and they tell us that this treatment can really make kidney disease patients delay dialysis by several years, maybe decades. Now, when I talk about the VLPD, what people ask me is always the same. Why my doctor never told me about this? Well, the reason is this. This is an example of what someone on a VLPD will eat in a day. We have a cup of applesauce, a tablespoon of flax meal and a toast for breakfast, a salad and some crackers for lunch and not much more. This is just to give you an idea, but if we take a look at this slide, 
it's clear that this is not an easy diet to follow. You will need a nephrologist and a dietitian to plan this diet for you in a very thorough way. In fact, people following this protocol are at great risk for malnourishment and they also need a supplement specifically formulated for this diet called Keto Analog. Now guys, the VLPD treatment is a big topic and it's very hard to sum it up in just a few minutes. This is why I've made a full video about it, which is up here if you haven't watched it. Okay guys, our number two comes without side effects. It is a natural remedy, so powerful, it may even make skin itch less persistent in people with CKD stage 4 and 5. Let's see it. Number 2. Omega-3s Omega-3 fatty acids are responsible for most of the benefits associated with a diet rich in seafood. In fact, few nutrients have been studied as thoroughly as omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 can protect against heart disease and stroke. It can improve sleep quality, bone and joint health, reduce fat in the liver, and are even associated with a lower risk for cancer can fight inflammation in the body and reduce mental decline in the elderly. Best part is that omega-3 fatty acid has been shown during several clinical trials to reduce high blood pressure, one of the leading causes of CKD. There is also evidence that it can reduce proteinuria, triglycerides and inflammation in people with kidney disease, even in the advanced stages. And very interesting, there is a review of studies on people in the advanced stages of kidney disease who were suffering from uremic pruritus. They were treated with a high dose of omega-3s. According to the researchers, patients have shown a significant improvement in pruritus symptoms. So it's clear that omega-3s can really help. Now, omega-3s are so well researched as a remedy, we exactly know the right dosage for every use. We even have a minimum daily recommended intake for omega-3, which is 250 to 500 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA. This means that omega-3 is an essential nutrient. If you don't get at least this quantity, you may incur in health problems. Omega-3 deficiency can cause rashes on the skin, fatigue, trouble sleeping, and mental health problems. So be sure to get at least this amount every day, either from foods or supplements. However, higher amounts are often recommended for certain health conditions. For example, 2,000 to 4,000 mg a day of omega-3 can be used to treat high triglycerides. 4,000 mg or more have been used in stage 4 and 5 kidney disease patients to decrease uremic pruritus, but this is a very high dosage, so you will need a prescription and close monitoring from your doctor to take it. Now, there's an even more powerful remedy as our number one. Let's see it. Baking soda. Many people keep a box of baking soda in their home for the many uses it has. It's absolutely a must when it comes to cleaning fruit and veggies, for example. But baking soda may actually save your life if you have kidney disease. The reason is metabolic acidosis. A complication of CKD that can be alleviated with baking soda, really important because metabolic acidosis is known to seriously damage the kidneys. So if you have this condition, you need to find a way to stop it. And baking soda can do just this. It helps the kidneys to keep acidity, alkalinity in balance. Now, what I'm saying here is proven by science. There are studies confirming that administering baking soda can effectively slow down the progression of kidney disease. Now, there is just one problem with baking soda. You need to be tested both for sodium bicarbonate levels and for serum potassium to know if you can benefit from it and in what dosages. The sodium bicarbonate test is especially important because it will let your doctor know how much baking soda you need exactly. You cannot just take it and hope for the best because it can, in some cases, compromise the delicate acid alkaline balance of the body. So if you are suffering from kidney disease stage 4 or 5 and you're not taking baking soda, talk to your doctor. Okay guys, this was our last one for today. Are you already using any of these remedies? Are they helping? Let's talk about it in comment section. 
And also let me know in comment section if you need any info or clarification. And a very interesting new video is coming next Friday. You really can't miss this one. So remember to subscribe and set the notification bell to all if you already haven't. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.